y'all so welcome back to my video once again this week i'm off schedule with my videos so y'all please forgive me i'm in a good mood right now because my tooth pain has died down to the bare minimum so i'm so excited so 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 excited um that i can go about my life per usual and y'all forgive me if I'm out of breath. I'm only 10 weeks pregnant and for some reason I just stay out of breath. Like I don't know why. I remember doing this with my other pregnancies. Um, and then like second trimester on to like I gain enough weight to look like a whale is when I usually go out of breath again. So just FYI. I was not just got down running or on the treadmill or anything of the sort. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys how I get my hair like this. Um, I thought about wetting it, but then I was like, you know what? If I wet it, I'm going to have to wait till it dry, then come back on camera and complete it after that. So I thought, you know what? Let's just, on a regular day, how I go about getting my hair really, really cute. So what I'm going to do first is find out where my part is okay so this is all leave out here and once I take this wig off y'all I'm gonna show y'all how I condition it and everything um, using a spray bottle and some co-wash from Shea Moisture I'll probably do that tomorrow because I am getting sick of this curly hair I'm so like indecisive and inconsistent with my hairstyles like I'm always rocking different hair and I think I'm ready to go back to my long straight wig um, just for a little bit but I want to show y'all first how I get my hair really really cute so um, I usually try to find my part just like that and then I've already put some oil on my hair um, so that it will stay straightened the way that I want it um, so I won't be doing that um, the kind of oil I use is um, Palmer's olive oil and I just dab a little bit in between my fingers to get it warm and then I just do like that and then I also use it because my scalp gets really dry sometimes I'll use that in my hair so but I've already done that yesterday whenever I went to work so I won't be doing that today um, what I'm going to be using to straighten my hair with is this little thing right here that's completely that I completely need to trash but to me the older you have something and the more broken down it is it works the best I don't know why I think that but I just feel that way and another reason why I want to take a break from this hairstyle is because I if I'm going somewhere I literally have to put heat on my hair every day and mostly my edges is what I'm concerned about so that's why I want to take a little break from this hairstyle so because I'm trying to grow out my natural hair not destroy it trying to make it look like some hair that's not mine <laughs> you know what I mean I mean trying to make it blend in with some hair that's not mine so yeah and y'all I'm gonna start linking well not start but I've already linked this hair down on all the videos that I'm wearing this hair in so that if you guys want to purchase it you can go to their website and purchase it um, I also put in the description box that I was not sent this hair I don't get sponsored by the company or paid or any of any sort to talk about their hair I just have over the last few years I have just been loving the price and the quality of this hair so that's why I like talking about it because um, I use a lot of different kind of hair and believe me if it's something that I don't think y'all should waste y'all time on I'm not gonna talk about it but I really really like this company customer service is great I get my hair so fast every time I order from them and I just have no complaints 
And so what I'm going to do now is, what I usually do is I'll take this first row along with my hair and I use this curling iron. So let me show you guys what I mean. If it has tangles in it, I usually don't sit here and try to brush it all out because I notice all of the curls don't actually look the same. If I sat here and tried to do that, I will bring my fingers down it and just kind of, if I feel any tangles or anything, I'll loosen it out. Just like that. Then I'll take this and I use it as a wand curler. And I usually leave it on here for 20 seconds. Take it off. And it's completely blended in with my hair. And I do pretty skinny pieces. If you go too big, you'll have to, you'll find yourself having to try to blend. You'll go back to these same areas and use heat. So try to use really, really small, not really, really small, but like, you know, small enough areas to where the heat will go ev evenly throughout each strand and make it all the same curl pattern. Just like that. Okay, so once I get here, these are the pieces that I tapered to go into my face. So I start wrapping it the opposite direction and I'm putting it just like this. And only for this particular spot on my hair will I actually wrap it in the curling iron like that because it's hard for me to reach and grab it to wand it around. I can do it, it's just that I've burnt my forehead way too many times or was on the verge of burning it and can't have that. <laughs> this just helps me get better control of it. So once I get all of these pieces curled, I'll go through and find pieces that I think might need to get touched up to make it more curly because when I sleep on this hair, it loses sometimes, it gets flat, like the curls get really, really flat. So I go through and um, re-curl it over there. <laughs> okay. And I don't go through every piece and do that, but I just go through some and, um, you know, just kind of make it look, look more like some natural curls, you know, like this is my natural hair, basically. And I just go through and just like separate them. This area right here, I leave alone for a little bit because if I loosen these curls right now, they'll, you'll be able to tell it's a different it's a curl versus a wand curl. So I usually do that part last, but I do go ahead and separate the ones that I wanted. And just make it look, look more fuller. So this is pretty much what I do. And to make this hair just look really really natural like if you was to not know this was a wig like honestly i get so many compliments with people thinking this is just like my real hair so um this area i'm just going to pull apart not really put my fingers through it but i am going to pull it apart and make it more feathered
just like that to have it like you know in my face and then another thing that I'll do is um, since I have this part coming down in my face like this I won't worry about um, my baby hairs on that side but I will take my little edge brush just kind of put me some little edges down like that and then sometimes I'll go through and tease it but it just all depends on how I'm feeling so as of now I'm just fine with it looking like this so this is usually y'all what I do um to bring my hair and this hair together um, and make it look more natural. I'm sorry y'all in my videos when I go back and edit I'm always seeing that I'm looking at my viewfinder and it's because my camera is so freaking selfish. It always wants to go in and out of focus without my knowledge. So I'm always looking in there because I have went through so much so much recording and when I go to edit it the whole entire video is blurry so I'm so sorry if I am if I keep looking at the viewfinder so y'all forgive me once I get my settings together I know I've been saying that for years <laughs> things will be a lot better but yeah y'all this is it um and coming up soon um, on my channel, I'm going to show y'all how cute these curls are. I never sleep with a scarf. So I don't understand how these curls still be looking popping, even though I don't be wearing a scarf. Because, I mean, yeah, there's some through here that I need to put some conditioner on. But this hair, I'm telling you, like, it used to be so long, but I trimmed it all the way up one day when I was just so bored and I was up late. And I trimmed it to trim it to my face so that it would, you know, um, look just natural and tapered, you know what I mean? So, um, I think I did an okay job. I think I did an okay job not to be a stylist. So, y'all, that's it for this video. I know it was super duper short, but I've just been getting so many comments about this hair. So, I just wanted to come on here just real quick and just show you guys um how i transform my hair to blend in with this hair um i hope you guys like it like i said i'm going to be taking this hair off soon and doing a um co-wash on it and showing you guys how the curls look when they're wet and when you add conditioner and moisture to it it's just so gorgeous and this little, I don't know how many inches is this, um, or half inches or quarter inches is this, but this little um, curling iron, this little curling iron, it, it really matches the exact curl pattern of his hair, even without just um, putting any heat to it. This is exactly how the curls look, so, and y'all will see that once I condition it and everything, so. Yeah, y'all. Until next time, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in another video. Sorry I'm looking extremely rough in this video, but um, stay tuned because my next video, I'm going to be updating you guys on my pregnancy. And until next time, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.